Hi, it's Becca and welcome to my channel where today we're gonna to go hang out in the living room. I'm going to give it a little bit of a pre-summer, neutral, tiny bit of color reset. And just for fun, I'm also going to be sharing with you how I added two inexpensive bookcases on either side of our faux fireplace and then used trim and molding to beef them up a little bit and hopefully make them look like they're built in. Um, this, this is for those of you who have wanted to do the same thing, but you've received a quote in the thousands to have it done, and that might not be in your budget right now. So what I did was add Billy bookcases from Ikea, super inexpensive. Yes, it's DIY, but if I can do it, trust me, you can do it. So let's go hang out in the living room. This is what our living room looked like when we first moved in. Then we added a faux fireplace and eventually shiplap above. Here's my mess. I put together the billies and I added the height extension or height extenders, but I want to beef them up a little bit more so that they're more in line with the fireplace. So that's where a little bit of molding and underlayment. Using what I have on hand, I have one by twos here that I cut down for the depth of the bookcase. And then these are one by threes because I ran out of one by two. So I used an L bracket to connect them and I'll put these on top of the bookcase, nail them into the bookcase, and then I'm gonna mount the underlayment to these pieces. And that's what it looks like on top of the billy. I just used a brad nailer to attach them. It's kind of created a frame. And that is what I'm going to attach the underlayment to, also using a brad nailer. A lot of people use MDF, but we had underlayment on hand, so I'm just using up what we've got. So essentially, it looks like that. Then I'll cut more molding for the other bookcase to attach to the top of, well, um, above the underlayment, but it is nailed in. All right, there you get a better idea. See how I've just attached the underlayment? I still have to do this side using a bright nailer, and then see those little pieces of wood sticking up beyond the underlayment? That's how I'm attaching my crown. You can see that one little piece of molding sticking out. I did that on the right side first, just while I was still able to move the bookcase and get back there and properly attach it before attaching the bookcase to the wall, which I just finished doing. done. Still need to add another coat, and I'm probably gonna end up painting the entire bookcase just so it all matches. Now it's time to have fun with trim. I'm going to add one by two lattice trim to the front and the front of the shelves like I did in our great room. I'm also going to add it to the sides of the bookcase because I don't like how you can see the seam where the extender meets the book. So here it is with the one by twos attached to the front of the shelves and the side. Um, again, this will all be painted white. And then I added a piece there to cover the seam of where the extender meets the bookcase. And then to balance it, I added one there. I'll have molding down there. Okay, I added the three pieces of trim since that's what y'all voted for. Got it all painted. And I even added handles and these incredible picture frame li or picture lights. Y'all, they are battery operated. They come with a remote and I can choose between cool white and warm white. I'm going to include a link for those here because they are quite the game changer. First, I'm going to add a couple of these woven baskets that I borrowed from our family room. I'm going to place one on the top shelf and one on the bottom for balance. Next, let's add a little bit of artwork. I like to get a lot of my artwork off of Etsy. 
Now I'm adding a few pretty plates. I like how they act as a riser. And on top of those plates, I'm going to add two of these bowls. I really like their size and detail. And of course I have to add a few books in there. I really like getting mine from Goodwill. I've had this bookend and its twin hidden away, so it's nice to bring them back out. Time for a little bit of greenery. Pretty sure I found this one at Ikea. Little boxes such as this one can be really good fillers for your bookcase as well. Okay, left side is all done. Now let's do the right side. Moving on to this little cabinet, pretty sure I'm gonna leave it like it is inside, maybe add greenery, but let's do something to the top decided to borrow this piece from the foyer. And this cute little tray is from Target Dollar Spot. I think I found it a few years ago. Now I'm going to add this towel for layering and color. And even though I'm not a big fan of elderflower, I decided to buy these bottles because I just really like their labels. Now I'm just going to pair a few pieces of stemware with the bottles of elderflower. And to finish it off, I'm going to add two of these cute topiaries that my husband found at a yard sale. Okay, moving on to the mantle, I decided to add a simple pitcher with these really pretty faux cherry blossom stems. Next, I'm going to be adding a couple of books. Not only do I like adding them, obviously, to a bookcase, but they are kind of fun to add to your mantle as well two of these pretty candle holders and my favorite battery operated candles are going up next and for symmetrical purposes let's add more books and this little piece will finish it off on to the love seat let's first add this throw that clearly needs to be ironed next to each end of the love seat i'm going to add these neutral pillows and then white ones for a tiny bit of contrast. And finally, I'll be adding a bit of color right in the middle. For balance, they'll be going on our accent chairs as well. Lastly, let's do something to the coffee table. I do like the top, but hang on a second. Let's add this piece of wood that I had on hand. It's a little banged up, but I think it'll serve the purpose. Time for books, more books, and a couple more. Final touch, flowers. Well, friends, that's all I have for today. Join me next time for hopefully 
a long overdue project in our bedroom. Thanks again for being here and have a great week.